Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of the video, today's video is going to be my beauty, body, hair care favourites from 2023. So if you still didn't subscribe, please do hit the notification bell down below if you're into cleaning, organising, decluttering, hauls, sit down videos like today. This is my channel for you and without further ado, let's get into the video. My second time filming this video because I sat in my studio two hours ago and I filmed the video and there was no audio so I'm here sitting down filming it again really to rush because I need to go to work um, but yes so today I decided to do a bit of a different video because a lot of cleaning videos are gonna come up by the way sorry if I keep looking at the monitor but I have some new lights so but yeah a lot of cleaning videos and moving videos are coming up so I wanted to do my beauty favorites from 2023 and I wanted to do like my favorite um purchases from 2023 like stuff that I purchased for my house and stuff like that so that will come up as well we're very fast with beauty and then we we'll get into skincare then we we'll get into body and hair care so beauty I use these three primers for all 2023 my pixie rose radiance perfector i always use this pixie is like half between drugstore and high-end like it's not cheap cheap but it's not expensive so it's basically like a radiance primer um not your radiance like max strobe cream that used to be my favorite but and it's very hydrating so i absolutely love that and then i actually love the flawless beauty primer from pixie again this is like a radiator primer but it's um but it's actually more shiny don't want to say the same but kind of like a flawless filter from charlotte tilbury and obviously as we just mentioned it flawless filter from charlotte tilbury in fair i use this for like traveling and stuff like that one of my favorite primers and then when i want to moisturize i have my priming moisturizer from good molecules this is one of my favorite primers it's basically like a cream hydrate absolutely love that for foundations i still use my favorites from last year so my obviously essence pretty natural my nars radiant um foundation but what i've used non-stop this year from higher end from higher end this is charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation this is number one if you guys remember i found this in tk maxx from my tk maxx haul um this is so good it's very radiant which i usually go more for matte foundations as i have very oily skin but since i'm pregnant my skin is so dry absolutely love this foundation love the packaging love that it's not very full coverage before i used to love a full full coverage face but now i like something a bit more light and absolutely love this something very light but very cheap from essence the eyeshadow hero this is like a tinted it says tinted cream but i would say more like of a yeah well like tinted tinted cream light foundation i have natural ivory it has spf 15 this is so good it's like a bb cream feels like a lot of skincare with like tint i wear this like every time i go out and then like if you want to have a bit of more coverage you can always like touch it up with powder and concealer absolutely love this since i tried it from essence um i always rebuy it and then if i want something of a more full face obviously i go in with my nars foundations for concealers we have one that i always used and one that's new so the one that i always use is my nars concealer radiant a creamy concealer in vanilla i use this to brighten my under eye and then i use some like orange concealers to cover my under eyes but i'm not going to show it today and then to cover spots bit more coverage if i'm wearing like my bb cream this is my favorite concealer from 2023 this is the uh idol ultra wear concealer from lancome mine is in ivory absolutely love this concealer there's only two things i don't like the way you have to pull it out to open it so it will make all your clothes dirty and the shade range it was so hard to find shades but this concealer it's so good it really covers any spots it stays on all day one of my favorite concealers from 2023 especially when i pair it with my nars that it will brighten my under eye absolutely love it powder i've been using non-stop my charlotte tilbury i have this limited edition package in number one this is the flawless finish hairbrush powder this is basically like when you apply it on it's literally like a filter like 
look at that like it really um makes smooth your under eyes on your skin it adds some coverage it's literally like if you have a filter absolutely love this one of my favorite items in my makeup collection if we want to go on the cheaper side one of my favorites is still the fit me maybelline this is not new like it's been out a few years and i use other powders as well but these are the ones i use non-stop in the maybelline i have 105 in natural ivory it, this is such a beautiful powder because it really adds some coverage i absolutely love this and matte poreless like really fills in your pores because i have a lot of pores here absolutely love these two powders and obviously one of my favorite items from 2023 powder puffs i got these from amazon really need to wash mine as a pair of two you don't need any expensive ones i think i paid mine 10 pounds for two i'm gonna link them down below i have them like ages now and these are so good cheap nothing expensive amazon the way this applies your powder especially under under eyes and it presses it so when it comes to bronzer i'm really into cream bronzer so obviously my favorite you guys know what i use it in any tiktok any instagram any youtube video it's my rare beauty um cream bronzer i have the shade happy soul this it's so creamy the way it applies on your skin it's beautiful like it's just absolutely love this bronzer like i think it's one of my favorite products from rare beauty oh yeah i have my charlotte tilbury obviously this is more like of a contour shade i absolutely love this i have the shade fair medium only thing i don't like they only fill half of the tube and it's quite expensive in compare of other contours so it's a bit like mm, but this shade, I just absolutely love it on my face. I always rebuy it. And, but I really want to find something a bit different in 2024. There's a few ideas that I have to try. I really want to try the Rose Ink Bronzer, the Milk Bronzers. And if you want a cheaper option, something that I use like every time I do my makeup, it's this primer bronzer. So you can either get a bronzer or a contour. I got the bronzer in light medium. This is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury and this is so good this is so good it's so pigmented it really blends like literally like in two seconds um i always wear this it's not patchy and like obviously with primark makeup you can always get like hits or misses like uh, you don't really know you don't really know what happens with primer makeup but i absolutely love that i want to show you another thing something that i've been applying my makeup with are always these sponges from this brand that it's called nanshi from tk maxx i paid this sponge 450 i have different sponges from this brand like i have this one that is destroyed like I literally need to throw it out. Um, why I buy so many sponges is because my cats always steal them and they like to play with them. But look at this one that it's wet. Really applies your, like it doesn't really um, eats all your makeup. Obviously this is badly stained because it's very light, but they're so soft. How these apply your makeup and they're so cheap. Like you don't really need to go out there and spend like 20 euro for like a sponge. TK Maxx brand in case you're um, blush. Obviously my favorite blush still remains Rare Beauty in hope this is so good like the price it's so good for these blushes like they could charge way more there's so much product that's going to last you a lifetime really want to buy more shades this next year and try this this will stay on your face all day like i feel like this was the best blush ever created out there and then we have two more if i want something a bit lighter with a bit more of highlighter still love my peach gasm gasm from charlotte tilbury and a cheaper option my elf putty blushes only thing that i don't like that they don't write the shades but this is so good so creamy like and another blush that i've been in love my sister just bought it for me is this charlotte tilbury duo like love the packaging you get a blush and a highlighter this is so pigmented i'm wearing it today today i'm not wearing any cream blush i'm just wearing this blush and i'm actually wearing this highlighter the blush is in fair and medium and the highlighter it's pale it's called the blush and glow glide palette I say this year charlotte tilbury and rare beauty has been my favorite brand bronzers like powder bronzers i have nothing new still using my color pop my um Hoola from Benefit. Still using my Essence bronzer. Absolutely love this bronzer. Like I'm wearing it today. Um, but nothing uh, different. Scaras. Nothing new from this year. It's like still wearing the same. So I'm going to show you. I'm still love to wear my Kiko one. This is like the holiday. 
finish this. Still, my astronomical from Lime Crime. I spoke about this mascara in the past years. I always rebuy this mascara. I don't know why people don't speak about this mascara more. This is my favorite. I have it on today. A bit cheaper. Still loving the Lash Princess from Essence. Actually, really like this large lash mascara from uh, Pixie. Still loving my Benefits um, mascaras, my Roller Rash and the Bad Gold Bang. Benefit when they do mascaras. And for my bottom lashes, I'm really loving this Kiko Standout Volume Mascara. Kiko always step up his game with um, mascaras. Eye palettes, again, I still use like my ABH, my ColourPop, nothing new. Um, still use these ColourPop eye pencils to do like a bit of eyeliner, like a bit of, I, I love to do a brown eyeliner. Brows, again, I use the same products every year. I don't really change my brow routine. My brows are very bad today, so I'm still using my Benefit. Precisely my brow, 4.5. Cannot find another pencil that I love. This one, when I want to do my brows with like a pen, really love this NYX Lift and Snatch in Espresso, like it create hair strokes. Um, and I still love my brow blade from Urban Decay where you get a pencil and a pen. For brow gel, still using the one and only Tick It and Stick It from NYX in Espresso. Again, cannot find something as good for my lips. Again, using really the same products. So I use any shade from ColourPop. Absolutely love ColourPop pencils. My favorite is the Golden Beach from the Barbie collection. Um, this is just like, nude. I'm gonna maybe draw it on. Still loving and I just finished it. So I need to buy a new one. The Exaggerate Lip Liner in Addiction from Rimmel. These are so cheap. And are so good like absolutely love these if you're looking for like a cheaper option um so i use either these i use all the color pops i have a few from charlotte tilbury and kiko milano lip liners when it comes to lipsticks i am very boring i have to say i always use the same lipsticks any shade from charlotte tilbury penelope pink wearing it today like their lipsticks are just can't explain my favorite one that i always wear and again nyx as well as lovely lip products i use a lot of lip products from um nyx for lipstick from charlotte tilbury catwalk i did wear this shade it's this one here this year like non-stop this is so good I really love these crayons from color pop always bright and feel good they're like a very like kind of like a tint but paired with a lip liner They're gorgeous this one here so still wearing all my color pop um, and for lip glosses i always wear lip glosses from color pop but my favorite i said this in so many videos i don't know why people don't speak about this lip gloss more is oh my gloss from rimmel this is like a lip gloss infused with like a lip oil so it's like an in-between lip gloss and lip oil i have the shade stay my rose this is so good it's not sticky as a lip gloss because it's kind of like a lip oil they're like an in-between but this is so good set and spray like i have so many set and sprays but i use this every day this is a dupe for the max fix plus my vitamin e from super drug this is so good you spray this your makeup will stay on all day really refreshes your face when i put on my powders and i spray this everything melts together like i need to buy a new bottle this is from super drug it's so cheap absolutely love this this is just like i don't know like i can't can't explain skincare now so when it comes to skincare we have cleansers i did use a lot of cleansers but i'm just gonna include one in this video so when i went to milan in february i actually forgot my cleanser went to sephora and i was like i want to try this brand i never tried it in is free this is so cheap i think this was like 12 15 euro um hydrating cleansing foam with green tea i use this um cleanser every morning you need a little bit and it foams up so good if you have delicate skin like mine really cleanse your face I'll try more from this brand like i have another cleanser that's not really a cleanser but kind of is is this in shower steam facial from pixie it's like a cleanser thing so basically it's really sticky when you apply it first like it, it reminds me of honey and then when you step in the shower it melts and it transforms into a cleanser um but really enjoy to use this under the shower for toners i'm gonna include two. First one my elemis i use so much the apricot one last year but this year i use so much the reiterating 
ginseng toner this is like a refresher this is so good this is the vinu pure um purifying toner uh, but I actually bought a new bottle but I'm gonna wait to reuse it again because as salicylic acid and because I'm pregnant I want to wait but the serums serums anything with vitamin C retinol obviously I cannot use retinol because I'm pregnant but I did use that until I got pregnant but I didn't really include anything um face mask I absolutely loved using until July that I got pregnant these retinol and collagen lip mask again not using it now because I'm pregnant these are from glam fox such a good brand for skincare it's like a Korean brand I got these in TK Maxx these um sheet masks are so good eye patches two on more of the expensive side these two from pixie my favorite ones from this year are the nutrify these are the nourishing eye patches absolutely love these and the dream y replenishing eye patches um absolutely love these eye patches if you want a cheaper option i actually finished mine but i used them all year round the vitamin c eye patches from primer visors i have few so for night time my fenty skin overnight recovery gel cream this is so good um you get a spoolie as well i love that everything is refillable from fenty i need to buy a new this is so good for night time i'm very picky with my night creams one of my favorites another night cream is the fresh uh, lotus dream face cream night recovery absolutely love fresh as um skincare brand i just got a new bottle from my night cream this is so good um these are a bit more expensive but night creams and then for the day anything that's drunk elephant this year i absolutely fell in love with the la la retro cream so good hydrates the skin when it's very dry so good to end your morning skincare with this you can use it at night as well but i use this during the day oil from 2023 pixie oil this is like an essence oil i usually use this like mine is all finished but i used to use this at the end of skincare at night time to lock everything in i love oils and you guys know that because i mentioned oil so many times on my channel but this was so good like absolutely love this oil it's just like can't even explain it and another thing that i love to use at night time Pixie, I know there's a lot of Pixie, but Pixie is one of my favorite brands for skincare. This Jasmine and Lavender Mist. This is such a good mist to end your skincare before you go to bed. This is so good. So let's go more on body care and um, hair care. So for body care, we have a few things. Body care, we have a few things. Since I'm pregnant, obviously I've been using a lot of bio oil for prevent any stretching, stretch marks or stuff like that. But one brand that I've discovered and that was recommended to me, it's Mama Mio. It's like literally a brand for pregnant women and moms. Um, this is so good. So the first thing is the tummy rub butter. One thing that I love about this brand, I got these on Amazon. I'm gonna link them down below, but you can get them anywhere. Everything will be linked down below. But one thing that I love about this brand is that it's so cheap. <coughs> so this is just like a um, butter to put on your bump. So very nice to put after you shower, like nighttime on your bump and stuff like that, especially in pregnancy. And another thing that we love in is the Mama Marks cream. So this prevents stretch marks or reduce stretch marks. I've been wearing this twice a day, especially on my breast to not get any stretch marks. And this is so good. I would have never guessed that I would have loved this product so much, but I did. It's TK Maxx. Um, I got it in TK Maxx, but it's the Lano cream active manuka honey foot balm so usually in winter my feet are so dry like they're so annoying so i decided to um buy some foot balms but because this was so cheap this was like six euro like i was like this is never gonna work i tried so many different ones from this brand i've been using them all year round after i shower i apply these on my feet especially on the bottom this makes your feet so soft and it's only six euro TK Maxx that's where I get all my shower gels body creams scrubs but foot balm this is so good one of my favorite products if we talk about dry skin obviously we need to talk about nano lips this is basically a lip mask so I wear this on my lips it's like a overnight lip mask you apply this if you have cracked lips you apply this you're literally like reborn but why originally I bought this and it's not very cheap for a little tube I think it's 12 15 euro but why I bought this is because Lano lips it's so good and known as well for um let's say for dry areas like if you have dry elbows 
at the start of pregnancy not now i had very dry breasts and nipples i applied this after a while so good for pregnancy my favorite hand cream i left it in my room was from rituals it's this yellow tub here me and my husband use that all year round favorite hand cream but if you want a cheaper option i've been using this non-stop i actually got this like random in my supermarket like local supermarket this is the garnier superfood repairing balm it's for very dry rough hands and it's like cocoa and ceramide i apply this every night it's so good i think this was like only six euro like it feels like such a creamy balm when you apply this your hands it's are so soft lips we have i use a lot of lip products but my favorites have to be the pixie this is the collagen lip balm pixie does amazing lip balms but this one the collagen one it's so good i've been using a lot in this 2023 is la neige my favorite lip masks my favorite one is the vanilla and i've been using i got all these mini size i've been using now non-stop the mango one this is so good i apply this before i go to bed in the morning my lips are so soft another thing that i love to apply uh, before i go to bed and usually i don't really believe in these products but this worked so much is this is this catrice super boost this is a lash and brow serum so before i go to bed i apply this on my lash both my lashes and my brows and it really makes your lashes and brows longer like i've been using this for ages now so let's go into hair care so for hair care i as you guys know i did speak about this on my channel at the start of the year i had a lot of problems with my scalp i don't know if it was stress whatever hormones so i've been only using shampoos from the health shop I buy loads of shampoos from the health shop and my I tried loads and my favorite ones from this year Fushi this brand it's so good this is a revitalizing um, shampoo for scar scalp replenishment and these are refillable this is like a glass bottle I don't remember how much I paid this like 12 13 euro Your favorite shampoo from the health shop is the Jason tea tree oil I paid this 11 euro and again this is for flaky scalps um, and these shampoos are so good because there's no parabens no sulfates all natural stuff I really love this for my scalp and another one that's not from the health shop this has to be a favorite shampoo for my scalp it's a bit more expensive is the espa shampoo um, this is the purifying shampoo for deeply cleansed revitalized hair absolutely love this shampoo i always repurchase it even if it's a bit more expensive so good for my scalp scalp products that i've been loving so one object that's so cheap you can buy anywhere but mine it's so cheap is this scalp um, brush i got mine from primark and when i applied those shampoos i actually wash my scalp with this so you don't need expensive ones this is from primark so good this one is a bit more expensive is the christoph robin um scalp scrub i got this on look fantastic this is so good like a bit more expensive but so good basically you before you do your shampoo you um scrub your hair like your scalp and you won't so this is haul guys sorry if i went very fast but i had to record this video again and i hope you like my new lights i still have to learn how to play with them um, but yeah, these are all my favorite beauty, hair care, body products, skincare of 2023. I want to film another video of my favorite purchases from 2023, like clothes, um, bags, house stuff. And today I decided to do more of a chill video because a lot of cleaning videos are coming up. A lot of renovations, moving videos are coming up because these are the last two months in this house and then we'll be moving to our new house. So a lot of content, home stuff coming up. So stay tuned. And as usual, thank you for watching and for keeping me company. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.